off to the right hand side, you see uh, for some of you the first time, um, uh, looks to be like a very, very large humanoid turtle. Um, you see them uh, sit, sitting on a bench. You've, you've seen a few uh, turtles in your travels, but they don't normally travel northward into the uh, into the Empire. Uh, this one is sitting there hunched over a table by themselves with what looks to be a heavy tankard uh, that they're clutching with both of their hands. Uh, you see bits of rope that are kind of tied across in a lattice uh, over elements of the shell. And on the right side of the shell, you see what looks to be emerging three pipes or horns of some kind that are like either carved or embedded on the right side of the shell. It looks almost like like three exhaust pipes, if you will, but they're they're made from some sort of an, an ivory type material. They look chipped a little bit and worn. Um, as it kind of turns back its extended head and almost like a snap jaw type uh, nose kind of curves back and you see an eye patch over the right eye uh, and just kind of grins. You see these series of tattoos up each arm that look like swirling water that just kind of curl into themselves and end right at the forearm. So it just goes back to its drink and sips a bit from it. I've never seen a I mean, I've seen one, but I've never spoken to uh, with the turtle shark. person. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool looking. Yeah. I don't think I've ever actually saw one either. I've only seen pictures. Is that an eye patch? Are those tattoos? Is that a shell? <sighs> yeah. Mm. Should Just, we talk to him first? Yeah. Who wants to? Who wants to talk to? Um, no, Dirty. not. No. What are those? It's crazy. That what thing. are those things coming out of the show? I don't know. Are you a turtle? And do you walk up and approach him? I'm a shithead. No. All right. <laughs> <laughs> We're all gonna fight. Sitting there on the table, kind of both these these large uh, scaled, coming to the point of these these uh, kind of hooked claws. These hands are wrapped around this heavy tankard. The head kind of shifts over in your direction, where the eye patch kind of meets your gaze first. For the other guy, the other eye creeps past the. Uh, extending uh, hard brow. I'm sorry, uh, what you asking, huh? I was asking how you got your eye patch. Did you, did somebody shoot it out of your eye? Well, that's certainly a possibility, Cher. You don't remember? You don't think that perhaps someone's gonna tell you tell you their life story just without even knowing you? Huh? Um, you gonna buy me a drink first? Huh? Oh yeah, I will buy you a drink if you tell me how your eyeball went missing. Very well. <laughs> Ask him what he wants. What you? Oh, do you not want milk? Do you want something else? He raises a, one of his fingers up towards the bar, and the bartender glances up. Oh, another round. Oh, okay. <clears throat> he turns around and begins preparing what looks to be a uh, another drink. Reduces, uh, lowers his hand and claw, which kind of scrapes across the wood and leaves this little kind of curl of uh, a little shaving that is put to the side as his hand comes to rest. Looking back at you with his one eye. How about this then? Let's. Trade a story, huh? Okay. You tell tell me where you're from and why brought you into my table. Then maybe I tell you how I lost this, huh? Okay. <laughs> um. Well, I'm from um up the street, kind of. I'm the daughter of the Ruby of the Sea. Do you work for any government officials? <laughs> no. I'm the daughter of the Ruby of the Sea. Um, and, you know, these are my friends, and we've gotten into a lot of hijinks, and um, um, what else did you want to know? Drink it spread under the table. Don't worry, she's going to take care of it. Yes. 
Do you have um, money to take care of? Uh, I'm <laughs> sure, gonna, sure. You, you guys, because I was going to go get uh, some milk, too, because you <gasps> need uh, two milks also. So one hot, please. Two okay, milks, one hot. It's, it's a silver for that, so yeah, it's, it's an easy trade off. Do you order out. anything other than milk, please? Okay, well, for a round of drinks and the milks in, <laughs> involved as well, none of which you will say it about uh, two silver. I got sure. It's also oh, possible that we met my dad earlier and we didn't know it. Uh, I'm going to be perfectly honest. Um, that was a lot more than I was asking. But I appreciate it. Okay. I appreciate you too. How did you get those pipes on your back? <laughs> <laughs> Turns and you hear like the creaking of leather as the long extended neck kind of turns, the folds of skin kind of pushing against themselves. Oh, this got this here on sea maybe about mm, six or seven years ago. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> what did they do? And he, cro- he reaches back, and you can see it's interesting because, like, on the, on the right side of the shell, it looks like elements have been carved through where these pipes have been put in on the back. On the front, there's a small kind of deflated <laughs> pouch of leather, and it looks to be a small uh, extended tube of metal. He kind of lifts it with one hand and oh my God. breathes into it, and it kind of inflates a bit and inflates a bit. And he sees one eye kind of look around mischievously to everyone else at the bar and goes, I mean, you asked. <laughs> And you can just this like trio of bagpipes begin blasting out of these 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 large almost almost shell sculpted pipes that curve out of his shell, and everyone in the room just immediately starts grabbing their ears, going ah! What is it? And they start throwing things over, clanking off of his shell. And... Oh my god! Fake bagpipe sound is best. <laughs> Happening. I don't know anymore. Um, he's so good. That was good. Only a few notes in because while he's mischievously enjoying the moment of shattering the the calm and and chill in the chamber, he's not gonna get himself thrown out. So he stops and goes, "That there is how I um, keep the other shipmates entertained. Entertained. It's yeah. A very good yeah. skill. It's you're quite talented, really." What's your uh, what's your typical rank on the board a ship, if you don't mind me asking? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's been a number of mm-hmm. number of mm-hmm. months since uh, I found me a good ship and a purpose out there on the ocean. See, um, but I've been known to be a rather decent second mate navigator. Very cool. Is is your name Marius? That's not my mom. Monica. Mm. <laughs> okay. uh, what is your name, friend? Orly. Orly? Orly Skiffback. Orly Skiffback. Skiffback. Better skip back. Now, I've been forthcoming in my direct title. Mm, might I ask what your individual names may be? Well, of course, uh, my name is Ford. I'm Bo. Uh, Caleb Widowguest. Uh, uh, J- Junior. Nancy. Caduceus, I don't know. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very well. Welcome. To the show. <laughs> Grabs his drink and just kind of sips. Takes a few moments, looks around again. Y'all still lingering for some reason? You say you've, uh, it's been a few months since your last passage on a ship? Mm. Steady work? What? Trying to Texas, Georgia, Louisiana. We're we're looking for um, an individual. Uh, might frequent these parts a bit. A half elf gentleman. You seen anyone named Sabian in these parts? 
can't say that I have there, so my apologies. However, you're more than welcome to ask around. I'm sure there's a whole, whole mighty spectrum of curious travelers that come in and out of here. Have you not been on a ship because of a lack of opportunity, or if the right situation presented itself, you would be perhaps up for a bit of work? More the uh, latter than the former. I got a, I got a jive with the right crew. More like I got a jive with me. I mean, and he kind of like does this kind of. I'm a fucking turtle, kind of a you know <laughs> physicality to it. It's the bagpipes, isn't it? Well, they're in a quiet place, I'd say, perhaps, shall we? Judging by your physique, though, you must be quite quite excellent on the water. No, uh, I'd say so. <clears throat> I'm sure you're an asset to any vessel. Um, now that I've buttered you up. Uh, how about, uh, have you ever heard of Marius Le Poil? Why are you asking? Oh, uh, If we... I'm not mm, inquire. Well, as one green to another. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, we were just told that he might be around and he has some information that we were looking for. We actually are trying to deliver him a bit of correspondence. Make a persuasion check. Oh, that will go over great. Ooh, minus three. <laughs> oh no, persuasion is at zero? How did that happen? Anyway, it's 13. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yes, great. You, that's you. <laughs> proficient. Oh, I'm proficient at persuasion. <clears throat> wow, okay. Oh, shit. Not I can say I've seen him around. Occasionally the boy has needed a place to crash, and I've provided my shack, my bowl, when he's been drinking too hard or comes in with some sort of a mark on his face, but. Your yeah. roommates with, with Marius? Only him, occasionally. Oh. Have you seen him lately? Not in a few days, no. Do you know where he went? Don't pay attention, don't care none. Do you frequent spots outside of this particular establishment, or is this your uh, shithole of choice? You see, the, you see him getting guarded the more you start asking about Marius a little bit. Um, he, Caduceus, you specifically, um, as you're kind of watching this, you get the sense that he's he's offered up a little bit of information, but that little bit seems to have caused him to reel in, and he's he's being guarded and, and doesn't seem very forthcoming, though he passes it off as a lack of information. I, I apologize if we're anxious. Uh, we just uh, want to get our business con concluded as quickly as possible and move on to more pressing matters. Uh, uh, I mean, if you if you see Marius or let him know that he's around, you're welcome to uh, tell him that people are trying to deliver something. We, I mean, we. I get the impression that he's a friend, and I also get the impression that he's probably used to a fair bit of trouble, and we're hoping not to be trouble. You, um, you said something about a delivery. Well, it's it's a uh, it's complicated. I'm not even going to pretend that I entirely understand it myself. Um, we're. It's a present. We, it was a present uh, for him. <clears throat> There's a shifting to uh, to Orly, at which point you the, the last of the air in the small pouch kind of gets pushed in. It's like <laughs> slowly comes to rest and kind of goes. Again, I, I hate to ask personal questions, but but have... <laughs> bastard, have, uh, have you ever sailed with Marius by any chance? I mean, do you have an impression of him as a sailor or? Oh. <laughs> Marius ain't really what you'd call a sea trekking folk. More of a slimy shadow word pillar. However, he, last time I saw him, not but maybe a week ago, I recall he was um, complaining waiting on something to be delivered, never found its way around. It was getting real. Well, 
The boy owes a lot of money. Well, uh, I, I have to say that we might be the, the answer he's looking for. Uh, we're kind of removed from the actual situation. We're, we're more, like, more uh, delivery by happenstance more than anything else. Uh, we have our own questions and problems and concerns which can only be answered by someone who has a better grasp of the situation. You know. Make a persuasion check. Oh, yeah. Talking cow over here. It was great. <laughs> I know people. <laughs> and turtles. Ooh. Uh, like wow. Persuasion? Yeah. I know uh, people. 21. 21? Orly looks you straight with his one good eye and kind of glances up and down. You get a good look. The leather eye patch itself, you can see it's. It has its own kind of carving into it, like it was wettened at one point and then shaved to have a very similar pattern as the kind of curling wave tattoos that match his <laughs> upper arms, and you can now see this, the backs and sides of his neck. Looking through you for a moment, goes, mm. sipping my milk. <laughs> milk mustache, hold you Let me, <laughs> let me tell you something. If, if what you say is true, could very well be that you and your friends here might um, and have a way of Taking some of the weight off of him. There he is. I haven't seen him in some time, but um, I do know sometimes he hangs around the docks at night, around m midnight. Sometimes he's meeting folks in ships and selling things I can only imagine is illegal. Sometimes he's picking things up. You wouldn't mind me asking for a brief description of him so we can identify him when we see him. That would be most advantageous. What you looking for? Skinny ass little half elf fella. Uh -huh. Sides of his head shaved real low. Cool. Tiny little fuzz. Super cool. With a big old flop of blonde hair. Kind of hangs around in front of the face. Ah, that's pretty cool. Um, other than that, he don't dress. Mm, mm, not a rich or anything. Um, tends to stay out of sight, so uh -huh. maybe it'd be best you keep a keen eye around the shadows, huh? Sure, I, I imagine he's probably a little jumpy of people if he owes money and that sort of thing. That can make somebody very mistrusting. And... Uh, well, I would hate to invoke your name in front of him, but... but uh... if, if all goes well and you end up doing him a solid, don't be afraid to tell him that uh, Orly puts you in the right direction, huh? Thanks, friend. That's that's great. If not, don't say a fucking word. Oh, of course not. We'll be very careful. <clears throat> we guarantee. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Wow. It scratches the bottom of the chin looking at you. This turtle must survive at all costs. Are we in agreement? <laughs> Tell us a story, Orly. <laughs> Um, all right, cool. Well, that's happening. You guys are also still trying to find a navigator. That's fine. Um, find that navigator. Yeah, and, and, and a did we find that bounty and the withered burden? If make an intelligence turn. Oh, uh, fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. Uh, you have met one navigator before. <gasps> mm -hmm. I remember. Oh, oh. Right? Wasn't it well, Orly? Was it the last I think month? it was Orly. Hmm? Was it within the last yeah. month? Then you have to tell me who it is. That's what I did. It's Orly. It, she said Orly. Or, or, you no. didn't confirm it. I was waiting to see if you oh, pick up on no, it. No, I'm, really? I'm not as smart as Caleb is. Oh, <laughs> uh, You're very smart. that's, that's going to cost you. Memory's I'm not good, Caleb. <laughs> <laughs> just felt yeah. that die. Caduceus' is intelligence oh. just went to eight. Yes. <laughs> that was all me. That wasn't Caduceus. I know, I know. Let's go, Caleb. Orly. That's all right. Go get him. We don't look like ourselves. No, we'll walk that. We need turtle power. You can. How long is the walk? Message. No. From message. here, it's I'd say carefully about an hour. An hour. Maybe a little we less. We have to respellify ourselves. Maybe we should just send. Like, what's better? Is it better oh. to walk in the door though? Wait, how do you send a message to him? You mean like spell message? Yeah. Yeah. He's not going to respond to that. If there's money involved. Yeah. Hold on. All right. Think hard about this. <laughs> yeah. This is a powerful spell. Okay. Offer, offer <laughs> money. Come to from, from the gecko. Come to the mistake. In the open quay. Let's not use the name. Lose all the V's. Lose, <laughs> yeah. lose all the V's. Come to a mistake in open quay. Like We've got money for you as a navigator. Job opportunity. You still have more words. Should we say like we're Love. the mighty nine? We Love. met you the other night. No. No. Maybe not. I, 
who do we know that he likes or hangs out with? Oh, Marius. We could say Marius needs help. Come no. to open no. court. No. No. Yeah, let's start Just a say, relationship. Say with. your message as you put it. Your uh, your friends from the other night. That's it. Dear Orly. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> That's the first two. Go. How are you? Uh, everybody <laughs> else is too. <laughs> Come to Open Quay. Mm -hmm. The mistake will hire you as a navigator. Lots of money. That's one word. Oh, mm -hmm. oh money. <laughs> of money. Okay. Lots of money. No, no. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> um, now? God, how many how words many do I have left? I've got eight Is that left 17? Left. Yeah, eight left. Eight, eight left. left. Okay. You can reply to this message. <laughs> Come now. Also, the mistake is a boat. <laughs> Come now. Also, the mistake is a boat. <laughs> <Sure>. Yep. <laughs> There's a brief pause, and eventually you hear, hear this, this voice come through. Uh, swing on over. <laughs> Soon as I m muster the energy to finish my breakfast. Uh, <laughs> little time passes, and uh, sauntering up onto the dock, you see the massive, kind of waddling form of the turtle with a sack over the shoulder. The rest of the deckhands kind of look and kind of give a nod. Some recognize him, others are still kind of like, fucking turtles, they're weird. <laughs> um, and then eventually kind of makes his way to the ship, over uh, over to the skiff, and goes, oh no, you guys have the ship in there. Yep. Okay, brought all the whole thing there. Uh, walks over and kind of steps up onto the, uh, the gangplank. So, um, whom, who am I talking to? Me, apparently. <laughs> Hey there, it's so real good to see you again. I heard from some mysterious magic voice um, that you were going to hire someone to navigate. We were hoping your services weren't spoken for. How long you looking to need me? A few weeks at the most, maybe only a couple. Do you know who you're talking to? We all look different from the last time that we have met. I have no idea. <laughs> we came to see you. We talked about uh, the, uh, a man named... Just as long as like, let him get on the boat before we tell him these things. We like the look of you. <laughs> we have a good job and big money. I'm not confused, but uh, money. <laughs> Definitely drivers. So, how much uh, do you charge on a weekly rate? Weekly, uh, let me think. <laughs> Thirty-five gold. Oh, a week. A week. Whoa. A week. Yeah, that might be gone a month or two. Well, I have twenty gold. 27 gold a week. Make a persuasion check. Yes. How are we going to get to He's literally our only, only job <laughs> candidate. <laughs> yep. 19. 19. 15 plus 1. Deal if I get to choose my quarters. Choose your quarters? My quarters. <laughs> <laughs> we can we can accommodate that. Then, my friend, it's a deal. <laughs> Gets walking up the gangplank and then inflates the bag and <laughs> kind of <laughs> announces his presence onto the ship as Sneak. as he arrives. Be <laughs> quiet. <laughs> my full Scottish send off when we leave. Yeah. And you know, the more you hear it, the more you're like, yeah, it's not that bad, actually. Yeah, yeah. It's the initial note that, that kicks in, and yeah. then 
Let's get used to it. It's not that big of a deal. It breathes better, <laughs> it breathes better in open space. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. With your crew and supplies acquired, hey. and uh, <laughs> possible seeds of whisper, whispers disseminated, some information gained about the, uh, the the scenario of those that you killed in the talk the night before, and the knowledge that they're still searching for the rest of the crew, um, you make your way off the dock. Who's, are you going to try and pass by this Lizzo ship once more? Because uh, you're going to have to to make your way out. Well then, yeah. Can I, can I like assist him with uh, like counting? Actually, with Orly hired and helping Ooh. you out with this. Um, <laughs> did you tell Orly we're trying to avoid that ship? Yes. When it goes. Mm. <laughs> I think this uh, those me know what kind of business we into. <laughs> uh, okay, Give an advantage on that. Nice. All right, so. Quickly telling you, like, all right, go now. Round about that way. He begins giving you the the, the proper timing, and uh, based on your previous information, that issue, you managed to dodge the Zillow ship, make your way to open waters, and now in the later afternoon, you guys have now exited the outskirts of Nicodranas. We'll see how much of what you've left behind helps to what you left behind the night before. But nevertheless, you have a crew, you have supplies, and you are on the water. Out and about, on the ocean, uh, what are you guys gonna do? Where are you going? What's the plan? Orly needs, Orly needs something. Yeah, we gotta show, we gotta mm, show, uh, yes. oh yeah, maybe this jog, d- jogs Orly's yeah, memory. Yeah, yeah. Or- Orly, why am I showing this to you? But here, here's a piece of a map we retrieved. We'd like to go there, but keep it secret from the rest of the crew. Is that the Inky Claw Reef? He goes ahead and compares it with the map and goes, mm, Best I can tell, it's probably, um, probably close to the Inky Claw, yeah. Inky Claw, you were right, Ford. You were right. You're off the boat. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> okay. You've done we have that before, this is a thing, this is. It's a new thing. Okay. So we'll instruct Orly to navigate from north to south to the top of the reef using okay. this as. Orly corresponds. He's like, so uh, just out of personal curiosity, um, why are we heading through the reef? Where are we going? Uh, we are trying to catch up with a captain that we need to make contact with. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, um, this captain you're talking about, mm, mm, might they be, uh, we have that X's on the paper? Or? I think they might, yep. So that's putting us uh, right by the island. Which island? Points to the, uh, just in the outskirts of the X. Oh, the, that island. Mass. Uh, according to my m- map right here, that is a uh, Uru Kazel. Uru Kazel. Oh right. Uh, Uru Kazel. I see it. Yes, I see this map. Uh, um, that's a real uh, avoided locale. Why? Yeah. Superstition. Many uh, folks around here they talk about the. Dark stories of dense jungle and very dangerous iron barren creatures. They talk of um, strange ancient masses, and they talk of uh, wild, unnatural types. Could it just be talk, for instance, there is a rumor of a, a ghost girl on the docks back in uh, the Menagerie Coast <laughs> we heard circulating? Ah, uh, I'm not too familiar with that one, but um, it's possible. Well, mind you, I'm, uh, I'm the navigator. I ain't getting off the ship, so <laughs> it's all up to you. Is <laughs> that the Silver Silt Palace? Can't, can't say I have. Okay, just check in. In the water, where a little mass 
of stone has has breached, but that's all you make out. Okay. Um, evening goes by uneventful. Uh, by the third day, of the morning comes around. Orly kind of comes up to the top, comes to you, and goes. Hey there. Excuse me, Captain. Yeah, I'm uh, keeping tabs on our travels southward. I can see the reef is approaching. Excellent. <laughs> mm. Well, let's prepare to navigate through it. <laughs> Such captaining. Someone get. Captain. I just Travis. picked it as a backstory. Someone I didn't know Travis a subscription to sailing, sailing monthly or something. Jesus. <laughs> so, there are different. See those 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 Y marks. Each one of those is going to be a survival check to try and Ooh, maneuver okay. the boat through the reef. Oh boy. Can um, we get advantages on those? Yes, or because something? you have Orly. With you. Yay. And Orly is working with you side by side, kind of holding up the map and okay. looking at the scenery and all the crews. A lot, a lot of the crews on the deck as well, keeping eyes out. It slows down a bit, and you're brought over to the opposite side. And there, in looking around, you wander under the deck and find that at one of the tables, you see uh, Waldock, who's one of the uh, one of the deck hands of the uh, the other ship, is currently sitting at a table with what looks like a large tankard of really really rough grog or ale, um, biting his lower lip, and he has his sleeve pulled up. And you can see Orly has this unique kind of what looks almost like a like a bowstring of some kind that's wrapped between two fingers. Uh, an inkwell and a needle that's tied up in it, and he's currently halfway through doing this kind of really good-looking, elaborate tattoo across the arm of this deckhand. Whoa! He's got a patch over his eye, kind of right up against one of the portholes where the lights come in through, and he's using it for perspective. And he's just kind of—he's almost lording over this this smaller, uh, kind of thin human, and kind of gnats over. Way there. <laughs> Can I go stand over his shoulder and just stare at what he's doing? Yeah, you keep watch, and you can see um, he's doing this kind of uh, curled mermaid that uh, is coming up and and kind of uh, on one hand is kind of holding on to the hip, and the other one is uh, picking what looks like a fruit off of the tree. Um, you begin to question the design a bit, and Orly just kind of says offhand, it's what he requested. Huh? Why are you having a mermaid pick fruit if she's in the water? Uh, he's, he's sitting there going like, well, I had a, a rough, uh, rough ride with some scurvy a few years back, and um, a few things like her, uh, the idea of <laughs> ladies in the sea that can save me uh, from scurvy. <clears throat> oh, that's really smart. It's very meaningful. <laughs> or they kind of chuckles under his breath. It's very well done. And you can see now, like, the other tattoos that are across his body were probably done by him. On himself. Hey, Orly. I'm training to be a carpenter, did you know? Yeah. Um, I, I wasn't aware, actually, but mm -hmm. maybe you should ask around for the uh, man who's doing the repairs around this place. Yeah, I will definitely do that, but I also want to um, learn how to do tattoos. Can you teach <laughs> me that? I can try and teach you some of them. I'm a really good artist, Orly. My skills. <laughs> However, <clears throat> there's um, I got kind of a specific talent with some of this here. <clears throat> yeah, it's a thing that you wrap around your fingers and then you go like this. Kind of. Yeah, do, do you mind? The guy's like, uh. I'm a really good artist, don't worry. Sure. This already helps kind of show you how he threads this and gets the needle set up. Um, go ahead and make a performance check. Oh, jeez. Performance? Performance? Oh, no, performance! Oh, we'll, we'll say dexterity if you really want to. Yeah, I'll do dexterity! Sure. Whoa, 17! 17. Picking up where the initial kind of uh, partial ink sketches were, you actually continue to fill in the rest of the upper torso and do a very good job. Um, you can see where the style does shift in the art, but it's not abrasive. It just continues and it is rather nice. And Do you think maybe your mermaid would want some googly eyes? <laughs> he goes, uh, no, no, I appreciate that, but no. Are you sure I think it would really make her look really good? Um, he starts to pull his arm away from you. <laughs> 
Orly kind of puts his giant turtle hand on your shoulder and goes, mm, I don't recommend uh, messing with the uh, artistic vision. I understand. I don't want people messing with my artistic vision either. There you are. Hmm? You and me, Orly, we're going to be fast friends. I like the idea of that. <clears throat> um, point of order. Did you say porn of order? Point of order. Okay. <laughs> you happen to have any sort of, like, gem dust, do you? Gem dust. Like a, like a gem that's been powdered? Yeah. Or like ink? Oh, I have plenty of ink. It's more. <gasps> Wait, are you trying to make like a sparkly ink? More or less. I mean, I mean, I don't have any powdered gems, but I could probably powder some gems. Uh, I picked up this technique years ago from the, uh, some of the individuals that uh, spawned from the legacy of the island folk. It allows me to instill a mighty, Ink spot. And he kind of, as he does that, he kind of flexes his arm, and you watch as the tattoo kind of shimmies ever so slightly, and you watch his muscles kind of bulge a bit. Oh my god! If I do that, will you teach me how to do that? If I give you some dust? Uh, let's see, it's not so much something that can be easily taught more than it's um, something bequeathed by uh, an elder. Do you want to bequeath me? <laughs> no. What if you really like me, though? We'll see how time goes by. But for the time being, just uh, let me know if I can be of service. Um, he talks, talks to you about it, and he gives you kind of an overview of his capabilities. Um, so for different types of, of gem dust, he can... Uh, imbue somebody with a, a series of tattoos that can alter elements of their physical self. Uh, it's not inexpensive, and each person can only have it once ever. So it's not like you can have multiple, um, but like for 2,200 gold worth of ruby dust, you can imbue a permanent plus one to strength. What? Um, for 2,200 gold worth of emerald dust, you can do a permanent plus one to dex. So he runs down the stat, the stat sh uh, sheet there, the most expensive one's Constitution. Uh -huh. yeah. That's 2,500 worth of diamond dust, but there are all the different gem types there. Um, he can also imbue certain resistances. Those are more expensive. Those are 5,000 gold worth of uh, fire opal dust for fire resist and 5,000 gold worth of black sapphire dust for cold resist. Oh my god. But he has the capability of, of imbuing essentially magical permanent tattoos. That is amazing. I have a jeweler's kit. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, my jewelry. Oh. It's a shitload of jewels. Yeah, that's something. That's a lot of jewels. We have some, don't we? Yeah, we have some. And some stuff that we don't want to get rid of. But... Yeah. Are <laughs> some magic tattoos? Oh my gosh, do they like shimmer though? Do they look sparkly on your body? Do they look like. Uh, well, you, you can see aspects of, of, based on what enchantment it is, like an Orly, uh, his is specifically like an aquamarine dust. It has this kind of faint aquamarine light blue. Shimmy to it, like when as soon as the light hits it, it kind of glitters across. <gasps> oh, well. Aquamarine dust being the one that boosts charisma. Orly, <gasps> you're so tattoos. charismatic. <laughs> mm, many folk have said that. <laughs> <laughs> I will now definitely. Definitely want to learn this from you, and I probably once I get a little more rich and I have some powdered gems, I'm going to have you do it to me. Well, looks like you're just gonna have to keep me employed for quite a while. Yeah, don't get hurt, okay? Don't get me hurt. Okay. And he goes back to finishing up the tattoo on that individual. There's, there's a cube. There's a cube. As Avantika points it out, she shows the crew and says, In two days' travel, we will make our way outside of the uh, Drag Shallow Reef, coasting at Northworld for protection to about here. 
we begin looking for our salvage. At which point, uh, Orly, who's glancing over the side, kind of rubs his chin and goes, mm. I don't mean to question the captain's main objective. Um, however, uh, that looks like it's right around where the um, diver's grave mm, may be. The oh, diver's, oh, diver's grave? She, really she looks back and goes, perhaps? But does that spook you? Do ghost stories uh, make you shiver, turtle boy? And Orly just kind of like glances back at her with a narrowed stare and goes, uh, long as I'm staying on the ship, I don't mind. Have, have he goes divers. and sits back down to the table. Divers. Uh, let's. Uh, the crew should also probably have some some place to sleep. Let's make sure everybody's. We can go back of, to the boat, right? Are having a bad time. What What do you guys want? <laughs> Orly seems to be kind of playing the the mother hen, uh, with Marius playing assistant to that. Mr. Orly, we feel terrible about everything that's going on. We want to make you guys as comfortable as possible through this. Uh, deeply inconvenient situation we've all found ourselves in. in uh, I wouldn't be lying if it wasn't um, deeply inconvenient. I appreciate your honesty. Um, <laughs> nope. Ask, ask, ask him about the diver's grave. What would not be an insult? I hit his hand. High five! Like that. I know that would be an insult, but what would not be? <laughs> <laughs> how many, how many, how many kids are here? If we're staying behind, uh, I'd say give me about 100 gold to watch over the nest around here. And when you return, you'll uh, hopefully uh, understand perhaps you mm, mm, might be coming back for us. Oh, without question. Mm-hmm. That's by their loyalty. You know, return whatever was not spent. Oh, oh that's, a, that's a good idea. Go on that. I'll get the other 50. Thank you, kids. We are, unless something goes tragically wrong, we, we expect to be returning, and I imagine you'll hear word if things go tragically wrong. Various kind of comes in the goes, right now, hoping no tragedy, just come back and get us off this fucking hill hole. Well, if we, we don't come back, can't you take the mistake and go home? If you don't come back, I don't know. How long do we expect to be gone for? It Tra- 24 hours. Travel from here to there and back, um, about four or five days run. Two, two weeks, if, if we're not back in two weeks. If it's two weeks, the ship is yours. <laughs> All right. Uh, hopefully the ship is ours in like 48 well, hours, right? I wish you all mm, <laughs> much luck. I appreciate that. Hopefully you will not have to play a funeral dirge for us. I'm hoping that is never the case. Mm. This I'll just mm, mm, make some uh, coin in the end time. That's fair. If, if I may, Orly, uh, you seem to be very familiar with the diver's grave and the song. Do you know anything more specific of it? Creatures that might be in that area, things to look out for? I mean, standard uh, deep ocean folk. Looking deep ocean folk. Mermaids? Sharks. Mermaids. Other underwater beasts. What's a mermaid? Perhaps mm, 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 mermaids and other such dangers. All that. How many teeth does a mermaid have? What is that? Mermaids are part pretty people and part fish people. Those mm-hmm. are both very dangerous. Well. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Any good things about the area that you care to share? Hmm. Probably some worthwhile loot there amongst the um, sediment. <laughs> right. Oh, right. Mm-hmm. Any, how, any idea how long ships have been going down in, in that uh, region? Oh, a few hundred years, Can maybe. <laughs> is, is there some sort of weather pattern or natural phenomenon that uh, is responsible for this? No, mm-hmm. ships go down all over the coast. 
But there aren't creepy stories about every inch of it, is there? There are quite a number of creepy stories on every part of this here coast. Fair point, fair point. Do you know how deep it is to the bottom there? Is it deep, deep ocean or mm, just medium okay. ocean? Say I do. All right. Mm, mm, all right. Mm, my thank apologies. You, thank you for your time and uh, thank you for your trust. Come back. Working on it. <laughs> Sure as anything. All right then. You can let Orly know. Hey, Orly. Mm-hmm. Know the Isle of Basaft? Oh, I'm uh, quite familiar. Does that seem to be the direction that we're heading right now? But as close as in any direction gets, really. <laughs> Other <laughs> I even. I think <laughs> that might be the place we ought to go. <laughs> 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 Make me jump around a bit, okay? yeah. <laughs> Very well. We'll make sure to port this ship in that direction. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. This tool and tell. Port two. Three. How how many days will will it be sailing? I'd estimate probably three or four. Three or four days from where you are now. You got it right. <laughs> As I was saying, yes. Orly, if you would, please plot us a course to uh, the Bishop Dial. But of course, don't you worry. He goes ahead and sets course. The ship uh, makes its uh, its turn across the water in the direction of the Bishop Isle. You find yourselves back in the hull of the ship. You see the crew, kind of all like half of the crew, sitting there, looking kind of intense. Uh, the sphere resting in the center of one of the tables off to the side, and as soon as you, the first of you emerge, they're like, where, where have you been? What's going on? Orly kind of pushes forward and goes like, mm, where have you been hanging? <laughs> they start taking that, or, or, or diminishing the presence of the uh, radio sails. I'm getting, mm -hmm. getting smaller, more uh, durable, yeah, more durable sails pulled up in there. I was like, I, uh, uh, the I wind pay is attention. Or weather tolerant. Oh, yeah, you're probably helping them with it. They, they need, they need it's an all hands on deck thing to get this going quickly. Okay. Um, but with that, you're going to pull the sails into place, and the, the wind immediately picks up again once the sails are back in, and the wind's starting to pick up a bit heavily. And uh, you see Orly kind of glancing over the edge, and his like, large shell just kind of, you know, just slick with rain smattering against the backside of it as he turns around towards you and looks at you through the darkness. A little bit of light there is from uh, oil lanterns being held across the deck and toes. Captain, I think we're heading into a proper storm. Damn, could, could you like be more ominous, Orly? Were you trying? Captain, he was trying. we're heading. To a proper store. I'll take the I, It's pretty good. Um, yeah. <laughs> Smart ass. Orly, do you see any way around this storm or just through it? Uh, we can if we take a few more days to. Unacceptable. Push through. <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> all right, everyone. All hands on oh, deck. What? Flashes of light yeah. in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so, will Nick a dry drain in? I mean, we could oh, no, be, be giving mm. the ship to Orly. Orly. Mm hmm. We don't need it. In no less than 30 words, describe to me why you should have this ship. Mm. <laughs> Captain. <laughs> uh, I couldn't possibly. You seem like really wrestling with the idea of like. I can certainly um, caretake it in your absence. Uh, you were intending to m m m mosey on northward, right? I'm further mm -hmm. inland. What I think I'm saying is, the ship is yours. Once we reach Nicodranas, you can sell it. You can take care of it. Whatever you see fit. You've done right by us. He thinks for himself and goes, hmm, mm, my generous. I can claim ownership by name only. 
but we all know who the captain of this ship is. If you're going upward to the Empire, I can put the crew to work. Earn a little bit of money for us and you. When you come on back, maybe a little bit of gold in it for you. But ship is always yours. That sounds quite agreeable, Orly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That'll be all. Is Orly your first name or your last name? First name, darling. What's your last name, Orly? Skiffback. Skiffback. Right. Anyway, good night. He turns around, makes his Bring way. Him with us, make him fight. <laughs> I really, 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 really want a tattoo from him at some point. Yeah, did you, did from you like, oh, wait, do we have to do that from him? We no, haven't it, done it. it we, have, we need a lot dusted. Of, it lost, we costs need, a lot. Well, we just need crushed gems in order yeah. to make it. We have it. some I, um, I have some gems. I tell Jester this. Um, my parents, when they were trying to for me into like a functional member of society. I thought it would be a good idea if I got into jewelry making. So I have a jeweler's kit. So you could maybe like crush some I could jewelry? crush gems. Yeah. Crush. Just throwing that out there. Orderly! <laughs> you hear the heavy footfalls of him turning around and slowly coming back to the chambers. Mm -hmm. How How hard is it to make a cool tattoo? That's pretty and like the, the the shiny ones. Well, you need the supplies. Yeah. I told you. You had like twenty two hundred. Baseline. Then, depending on the kind of tattoo, the cost tends to increase. We don't have that kind of. We don't have that kind of. Not chance. yet. One day. Okay. What do you do? Happy to help. Okay, okay, okay. Thanks, Orly. No worries. <laughs> Turns around and makes his way back up. <laughs> Turns back. Paperwork says out fine. All right. We will be, uh, I guess, talking. And he kind of points to Orly, and Orly gives him a nod. Looks back at the rest of you. Mm, well, you all be safe. Even if you, you got some of that uh, fancy mm, magic word stuff, right? Yes, I will definitely send you a message if we need anything. I can too, probably. Oh! Oh! oh what? Awesome. Really? Anyway. It's magic. Y'all travel safe. Be well, Orly. Carry oh. on. Take care of that crew. They're real good. He watches Amarius off at the side, hands him into Orly, and Orly looks off to y'all. Don't worry, I uh, fully intend to. He puts a captain hat yeah! on. Uh, the surface of the water itself kind of blinds you a bit when some of the reflections catch you from the waves that are coming in. Uh, Caduceus, you do see the ball eater, and it is heading out. Oh, it's maybe like a half mile out of port. Yeah, it's a fireball. Oh, no! I sent the message, <laughs> I send the message to Orly. Fort. Yeah. Uh, Orly, come back! We're here in Nicodranus, and we see the ball eater, and you're sailing away. Are you come back? Because we That's want to enough. talk to you. Orly, come back. Orly, come back. Oh, Jesus. The voice comes back. <laughs> you gotta <Returning>. up. <laughs> oh, it's been a while. <laughs> yeah, it's good to hear your voice, then. Lady, <laughs> we're going ahead and turn that around for you. Give us a m m moment. <laughs> you see the ship slowly begin to turn <laughs> and making its way back towards. It's so really good. calming to watch. <laughs> so um, for the purposes of searching for, you know, gems, you per gem, per gem. You probably couldn't find more than three thousand gold worth of it to be ground into dust, and it's a strange request to like purchase gems from like a jeweler and be like, "Thank you." Can you grind it up for me too? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> sure, um, but that means with with what's available, in Nicodronus, you couldn't double up on a statistic. Right. Oh, okay. So, if anyone wants what? 
Do we have enough money to get everything? <laughs> like one of it, one of every gem? Well, for if you guys pick what you want, then we can. I don't need it. Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. I want to get Constitution. I want Wisdom. Get my key saving throw up. Y'all are spending twenty five hundred gold each. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just checking. It's like half of what we just made. But it's a stat, man. Yeah. It's a full point. Uh huh. Could you bump some shit up? To, can you increase anything and go to evens? I'm kind of perfect. Yeah. I'm pretty happy. I'm just going to wait for a sword. And the resistances are. Going. <clears throat> Matt, the resistances are for fire. Our, fire and our, our damage type resistance. Yes. Fire resistance to cold. Fire and cold are the two you can choose. Got it. Um, should I do strength or charisma? Charisma. I mean. <laughs> like, seriously. Uh, okay. I'll do charisma. Okay. <laughs> 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 Alrighty. So, for those who are who, who have decided to to possibly get a tattoo from Orly, oh, man, uh, possibly get a fucking group tattoos or always shit. Should we get something similar? Or should we get something similar? Never look at enough time. Should we get what? What should we? What should the design be? Should we get something similar? Oh, yeah. 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 Ye
gives like a big okay. whistle, and they bring a small chest off the edge and drop it down. Whoa. Um, which, uh, <laughs> delivering to you guys, oh, no. um, what now accounts for 1,312 gold pieces Whoa. has been Do your split of the money they've made since you last left yeah. them. Yes. Did you guys take out your money for your gem I, dust? I just did, yeah. It was 2,200? 2, 2, 2, 5, uh, I thought 2,500 was for diamonds. 22 for it. Yeah, you guys take 22. Uh, war time makes for very nice profits. Uh, all Ooh, of, we'll take 150 gold out of that pile and leave it for Orly, Good yes? Call. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Oh, so shit. wait for that back. Oh, no, me, Captain. That is your split. We've already been paid for oh, the okay. money. Two hundred eighty. Made. <laughs> are we gonna tip? Are we gonna tip? Okay. Uh, Orly, we have to get some uh, some ink. <laughs> I was wondering when you all be coming around to get yourself some <laughs> mighty fine ink. <laughs> Let me get my mm, mm, materials. And he goes back onto the ship and eventually sets up on the deck of the ball eater a table. Uh, what looks to be some sort of a strange, like it's it's half an alchemical contraption and part of it is some strange kind of tinkered mechanism. Um, and at the end of it, you can see what looks to be a some sort of needle element that kind of rotates in a gear, and then uh, as you can so wind it up, almost like a like a loom, uh, it begins to rather rapidly. Holy, can we ask how painful is this procedure? <laughs> Quite. When was the last time you did one of these tattoos? Is it a common thing? This one, quite a while. <laughs> Regular, maybe a week. And he points over to one of the other a deckhands who looks young, fresh-faced, one you haven't met yet, who kind of waves over and goes, ah. and you can see like on his arm, there's still a fresh kind of red, somewhat swollen tattoo on Is the arm. Infected? Is that infected? <laughs> Mm-mm. See, it's just um, uh, um, uh, pansy. <laughs> okay. Uh, I totally want to stick around for this. I, I may go get some fish and chips. <laughs> I'll see you in what? Uh, call it two and a half hours. Two hours. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, a little few, maybe a little bit. I will join you. I'll take some chips. Ah, oh, they're not gonna stay and watch us get tired. No, no, we don't. Oh, Dad, it's girl time! Girl time! Girl time! Girl time! Get out! I, I, I belly whack not. Woo! Yeah! Look at those dirty Those abs are lethal. <laughs> Arm bone ah. breaks between two abs. Abs of death, yeah. Drop to zero at once. Oh, yeah. can, can we, in addition to the fancy tattoos, can we get just oh, a little yeah. regular tattoo to just commemorate the day? Yeah, if you'd like to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. Oh. All right. Well, I was going to say maybe like an exploding keg of gunpowder. Of, pretty cool. That's pretty yeah, cool. Kinda I know, that's what I was going to say. That's yeah. stupid. Not against chaos. Just chaos. Yeah. It's pretty good. CC. CC. Yeah. yeah. Maybe they can be first. like interlocking, oh. like a chain, because we're fighting no. a chain oblivion. Oh! But then, like with a broken chain! But broken, because yeah. we're going to break, break the chain. Break the chain. I like Fish it. and chips, huh? Yes, yeah. I'll, I'll, go, I'll go first. <laughs> Lots of the brown right. sauce. I'll, I'll take a vinegar. swig to yeah, numb, yeah. numb the pain. <laughs> Does he have to roll a performance check? Gonna, Is this gonna work? <laughs> it's all, uh, it's totally so you were taking you're hitting a charisma. <laughs> yeah. Correct. So you take the uh, the crushed aquamarine dust. Yeah, I'm gonna do um, like well, I would request like eyeliner, like permanent eyeliner. <laughs> wow. Um and that maybe like sort of swirls off and wow. kind of swirls up oh, here. Shit. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Okay. I tattooed during that's that. So, yeah, that, that's, it's almost like a, like a Mardi Gras mask, but it's just your face mm -hmm. in some ways. That's cool. Ooh. Ooh. So, uh, as I just kind of, what it goes like, mm -hmm. there I can do. <laughs> Takes the dust and you see, like, so dri far. places it in the top of the small oh. device. It kind of goes into this, like, glass funnel and it begins to wind it up with this large turtle foot. And as it does, you can hear the grinding sound. Sticking that big goblin mouth. I'm going to try to learn what he's doing. I'm, like, watching everything. Okay. Um, Make make a perception check and an intelligence check back to back for me. 
Perception uh, first. Perception. Oh, come on! Mmm! My perception was shit, it was eight. But my intelligence was 16. Okay. Uh, you can begin really to comprehend the kind of elements of the, the enchantment process. Yeah. You watch the device is one half of it, Which but the other half is as he takes the uh, the extension to this strange uh, kind of tinkered gear-like device where the needle seems to stem from and the, the, the small kind of tomb that draws, the tube that draws into it uh, that blends with the ink, uh, there's an element to uh, to what Orly's kind of muttering under his breath. There's a perpetual, almost like a like a chant. That he does. He and said then, he would apprentice me a long time ago. He probably had, doesn't remember. <laughs> and he's focused on the job at hand. Okay. And then, and while you pick up elements of it, you you have a hard time focusing. There's so many things going on that as he begins to deliver the tattoo to not, uh, you don't quite grasp the intricacies of it. That's fucking crazy. Um, but uh, describe uh, uh, how well you handle. I guess make Constitution saving throw for me. Sure. Uh, I'm drinking. Mm-hmm. Uh, Constitution save. Mm-hmm. Uh, nine. Nine. <laughs> you passed out part way through. <laughs> <laughs> you drink, oh. drink, hold on, and then just go limp. It's just like. The the three of you guys tattoos will lead into the evening. So each tattoo is going to take a number of hours to go through. They're not extremely elaborate, but it's a lot of ground to cover. Or the the intricacy, especially with a face based tattoo, it takes a lot of care. Um, so pushing in towards the uh, at this point, Am the, I a little puffy? <laughs> the early onset of dusk seems to be with probably to start hitting about an hour in the next half hour or so. You come to consciousness in the chair on the edge of the ship. You wake up to the immediate smell of like ocean spray and and salt in the air and brine. And you kind of glance over and see this big smiling total face with the one eye patch go. Mm. Some of my best work. Oh. Mm. Sits so up and you can feel already the puffiness. And you guys all look at Knot, and Knot is a little swollen. Oh, in the face. What is it? Okay, it's fine. <laughs> it's really shimmery. It looks really good. Yeah, I can you've barely got, see. You've got a nice glow. Yeah, it's like natural highlight. Though. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm gonna go to sleep now. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna get ours done. Uh, all right, chaos crew. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. With that completed, you get a permanent plus one bonus to your first. Yes. You to increase your ability Try score there. In, Who's up next? Yeah. You want to go? Or you want me to go? I can go next. Okay. Okay. All right. You walk up to Orlys. So what might you be looking to put on your uh, canvas? Well, I'm using diamond dust. Here you go. Places it back up into the glass vat. All has to sift into the machine. Mm-hmm. Um, I was wondering if you could make it look like, um, almost like a small cape, you know, like the one that I used to wear, mm. the little short one, like covering my shoulders and my chest, and then right here I want two hands like this in front, like the traveler is hugging me. That I can do. He needs to wind up the machine, you can hear the grinding sound within. Uh, he, yeah, yeah, hands are really hard. So this through. So as you totally super talented. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I guess it just uh, am I getting naked in front of Orly? You don't have to get. I mean, uh, you're doing my tattoo in my chest. Here. <laughs> Orly kind of looks and goes. Mm, whatever makes you comfortable. Here, just I take off my sash, tie this around you like a oh, little okay. tube top. There you go. Okay, yeah. And so you're there, and uh, is that right? Okay. So as as you. You know, take off its the armor and the outfit and tie the two top around. You can now see, you know, if you guys are there, Jester, like as 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 cute as she is and as as billowing as her outfit is, having her just there with the tube top on, especially kind of in a bow esque type outfit, Jersey fucking Shore. ripped. Mm. <laughs> Jersey Shore. Um, I try to make business. it not seem like I'm checking her out. Okay. Orly goes to work, and uh, it takes about three hours to complete the process. Um, go ahead and make Constitution saving throw for me. Do I add my, modifier, my new modifier? You do not. Man. No. Do you want to, like, raise your hand? You You're like. like <laughs> I got this, I got this, I got this. <laughs> okay, just go limp again. Oh, <laughs> or, Orly, Orly, Orly kind of ca- catches Jester in the small of the back and looks over towards you, and goes, and goes right back to work. And um, 
Uh, it takes a little longer because he's now dealing with a, a, a ragdoll. Okay, I'll try um, and lift our head up occasionally. Okay. Right, but the, buzz, so what you want, the sun has set, the night has come. As you come to consciousness, you can see the stars in the sky, a moon slowly coming up over the sea-based horizon, and uh, a kind of slight tinge of just ever-present pain across your torso. Ow! But you look down, it's a beautiful design, specifically what you asked for, awesome. and you get a permanent plus one to your constitution. Oh, shit! That's huge. Yeah, you last one. I am. Um, you still up for it? You've been, you know, doing a lot of work. You're not gonna like trip I've been the fucking thing for me. Many months. Last to get the fingers m- moving. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. See that? I. Uh, Even which dust? This is the. The jade dust. The jade dust. Jade dust. Places in the machine. Winds it up. What kind of tattoo do you want? I pull out Molly's tarot cards. And I flip through the tarot cards until I find the design of the all seeing eye. Mm. Okay. Because he had that on the back of his neck. Yes, he did. Okay. Right below. And then I point out the other filigree on the card and tell him to just get it, embellish okay. it out. And I can move on. And so now you're turned on the other way on the chair. You're supposed to, everyone else has been kind of sitting in the front of it. You're actually with your chest against the back of the chair, leaning forward. Um, Why is Bo entirely naked? <laughs> <laughs> it's the weirdest thing. Um, She's straddling a chair. She's just doing backwards. a downward dog in the middle of the world. Maybe, maybe, maybe dessert. Shall we get dessert? We'll be back. We'll get hot buns. We'll be running around. Okay. Fun, 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 okay. Fun, okay. Constitution saving throw for me. Be the one. You got it. You be got this. One. You got this. It's you. <laughs> you rolled a one. I didn't oh, say three. okay. You got a three as well. Six. <laughs> Bunch of bitches. <laughs> at first, <laughs> at first it feels like a tickle. You're like, oh, that's not too bad. You got this. Good. You got and then it turns into a burning. And then it starts hitting the the the, the nape of the neck where it hits the base of the skull and actually yeah. tapping on like the bone a bit. Whoa. And the pain begins to suddenly blackness, void, darkness, unconsciousness. Just like, <laughs> you have the tunnel vision. <laughs> <laughs> um, you wake up. Uh, it's Fuck. not a few hours into the night. It's not quite midnight, but it's definitely like later in the evening, it's like ten thirty or so, uh, or ten o'clock at least. Um, you come to consciousness, and you can feel kind of the pain in the back of your neck. Um, I didn't pass out. It looks so good. No, you were awake the whole time. It looks so good. Does it? I can't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> I think it looks good. Is that Bo? <laughs> It's really swollen. <laughs> You're not pointing in the other direction. <laughs> Looking towards the star. Or, staring at Orly, Orly just kind of spins, not around, back towards Beauregard. Um, finished, and it, it's a little sore, but um, you know, Orly goes and takes a hand, uh, hand mirror that they had below deck, pulls it over, and kind of shows you a little bit from best you can see from behind. Over this way, and from what you can see out of the corner of your eye, it looks gorgeous. It's a beautiful interpretation of the all seeing eye. The filigree kind of wraps around it and then comes out of each corner and then wraps up over and then kind of across the shoulder there. Sick. Kind of comes to a curl at the top of the deltoid. Uh, and the very point you can see, the filigree actually comes up. You can see he had to kind of cut and shave a little bit of the hair yeah. up the back, but the filigree actually spills up the back of the skull Ooh. and stops at the, at the crown. Oh, that's oh. fucking dope! Taps into my spinal column. Yeah. That's cool. So, you get a plus one permanently to your wisdom. Thank you, Arlene. Yeah. Wow. All right. I guess, can we sleep on the, can we sleep on the boat oh, tonight, Orly, and then tomorrow away, or should we go to your house? Either way. Of course, it's your ship. Apologize we got rooms down day. below for all y'all to be sleeping. Apologize for putting you a day behind. And I'm happy to be seeing all you. Appreciate it. Uh, any, any news to be shared from the open sea? Anything we should know about? Uh, anything from, what was the name of the pirate island? 
Dark Tower. Dark Tower. Dark Tower. Dark Tower. Dark Tower. What was the name of the pirate captain guy? The Dark, Dark Toe, the pirate king? The Plank King. The Plank King. Uh, far as I know, I ain't be here in two months from that island. But uh, uh, the pirates be out and about. Wartime be making money for all those moving up and down the coast. That means it's uh, extra gold for those who didn't attack the ship, so uh, pirates be around. Well, glad to hear you're keeping safe. If you happen to hear any reports of giant snake-like monsters covered in eyes, just be sure to let us know. Being set free on the seas. What? No, just you know, on the back of your head. Oh, right. well, sleep well. I'll come to get you on the m- m- morning. Thank you, Lee. Is the boat prepared to leave? Uh, do you need rations? Uh, in your no, no, we've loaded everything up. Uh, a- it is like a very loud finger whistle, and then a short time later, you hear the <laughs> Yay. looming up to the deck of the ship. Bring it. Orly's shell crests Bring over it. into the sunlight. We're real happy to see all y'all coming back around here. <laughs> ship has been prepared for our journey, huh? I run up and hug Orly. <laughs> Mmm, mighty fine to see you there. Oh, you too. So great to see you, Orly. You as well. <laughs> Thank you for taking such excellent care of the ship. Uh, Maris looks, Marius looks quite, um, weathered. Yeah, we're working on him. <laughs> I figure about, mm, 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 maybe three more, more years. <laughs> Hmm. That's, that's quite a bit of time. Yeah, he's not going to make it, Orly. <laughs> uh-uh. I've broken in less of men before. Watch me. And uh, how is our seafaring vessel? We're ready to go, the drop of a hat. All ready. We've supplied up and we're able to go to sea one elbow. Great. Right. I guess we'll just wait for everyone else to go, and then we'll go, and then we'll just sail along with them, and then we'll, you know, watch them. I recommend maybe letting them know you're coming. Oh, wow, yeah, I was thinking the same thing. That's good. That's really yeah. smart. Otherwise, we're liable to get, you know, blown out of the water. Right. Good call. Hmm. I should send a message to the Bright Queen and let her know to let them know. What? <laughs> no, I, 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 right? I don't know if we... Uh, that seems like a step too many. Um, maybe we just um, send a message to this Captain Dremmy and tell them that we're seeking an audience? Oh, yeah. And then we just tell him we know the Bright Queen, she's like super... And then we show our things. Or that we also know King Dwendal and, um, what was your- Oh um, shit! That's right, we're not! That would be really bad! <laughs> I didn't think about that part. I'd highly recommend you get all that straight. <laughs> I, thought, I thought there was a reason, but there wasn't. Um, lewdness. Yeah, lewdness, lewdness de leth. Correct. Yeah, yeah, he's probably uh, the one we should really check in with. Yeah, yeah. I'll send the message to Ludinus, and then he can let the captain know that we're coming. That would be excellent. Cool. We we could also just walk over to the boat. Look, it's right, <laughs> it's right over there. And I was thinking, perhaps one of the things on our to-do list today is to have a face-to-face there. Yeah? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Well, now's a good as a we're time. Here. As, yeah, as we could try. If they turn us away, then we can do the message. Yeah. Okay. Sense. Um, thank you for keeping the ship in such excellent shape. Uh, we, we have a few more things to tie up, and then we'll we'll be back. Well, Captain, happy to be back to your navigator. Welcome, Tuss Tooth. <laughs> the ship is yours. <laughs> and he slowly stomps back under deck. Uh, finishing Caleb's turn. It's now this guy's turn. The stun wears off. <gasps> Uka Telregard! 
at the end of his turn. But just just keep immediately it. start crying. <laughs> All right. Stunned and couldn't do shit while my friend died. Soft fight, soft fight. <laughs> this guy's going to leap down and attempt to attack Orly three times. Is he still in my range? Or, yeah, Orly didn't get his, move his, his thing, did he? No, not yet. Is he so it's going to take a, a sword attack. Is he in my range? Is it? Uh, you're st he's still stunned until the end of his turn, I believe. Yeah. Let me yeah, double check. Right. To the end of its next turn, yeah. So, uh, so it hits Orly with its sword for oh, Orly's unconscious, and that's two more attacks. It's gonna kill Orly too. It's a hit. So after it slices Orly, and Orly kind of, uh, falls in the ground, it jumps on top, takes the blade and jams it from the side of the shelf no. through the armpit mm -mm. and inside Orly's torso, and it kind of, uh, oh, and then shit. twists on the inside, and Orly just goes limp. Oh, 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 pulls the blade out. <sighs> Gills kind of like we ever had the sides of its neck. Two deaths. No. Like, and we're not even near done. Um, as you all, I'm as you all standing in the pouring rain here on the deck of your ship, sorry, I need to get some rain sounds. You gotta have some rain sounds. It's important. You gotta have some rain You all independently walk up to see there in scattered pools of blood, unmoving, the dead bodies of Ford and Orly, the storm still flashing overhead, the thunder still roaring. In the middle of this moonless night, none of the other armada ships, as far as you know, are aware of what transpired here. It sinks in. What had happened? Possibly why, and what needs to hopefully be done to rectify it. Do I need to roll for Orly? You do. Mm -hmm. So, in that moment, you reach over, holding on and wishing for the aid of the traveler, and you all. Now that you've seen him, for a brief moment, you can see as Jester, her small diminutive form on this massive deck of the ship, the storm battering around her, putting her hands on this large, shelled, unmoving, still creature. You see the green cloak momentarily engulf her before it vanishes when you blink. Not sure if it was there even to begin with. And what did you roll? 19. 19. There's a moment of stillness before the chest inhales and the body begins to stir, and as it does, it kind of leans into one of the bagpipes, and you hear this <laughs> before a hand kind of <clears throat> well, uh, um, that is so. I'd never leave. <laughs> the giant of. Fuck, I'm going to send a message now. to Orly before I forget that I said I was going to send a message to Orly. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Orly! Oh, oh. We found. Count this. Four. Huh? Count this. Count what? <laughs> Sending a message. Orly! Oh! We found. We count found. This. Ford, count this. No. Sorry. <laughs> a village. <laughs> the people here could be crazy. Maybe you guys should hide. Also, they might try to destroy ship. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we can't. I mean, they're not going to hide the ship. Well, no. I'm just saying, like, if they come and they're like, "We're going to destroy the ship because nobody's around," then Orly and the crew can come out and be like, "Fuck you!" And then they can destroy the people. Orly and, and our crew. There's four people. Yeah. And all those Marius is. <laughs> Marius dead. is so tough. <laughs> they're <guys>. dead. <laughs> Uh, you do get a response from oh, Orly. That's right. Goes, uh, <laughs> appreciate the heads up. Well, um, <laughs> mighty well hidden. We'll keep an eye. We'll be 
and he just trails off. <laughs> I love him. I'll send a message to Orly right now. Uh, hey, Orly. <laughs> We're going to come back to the boat and sleep tonight. Get the crew on there. It's important to do that. <laughs> Also, we're kind of hungry. Oh, nice! <laughs> he ordered in. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Orly responds. Understood. Um, slight issue. We don't have a boat. <gasps> Ooh, this would be a commercial break. Oh! We have a ship. Mm. Myself and the crew are in the village. Oh. Was it the dragon turtle? That's all he responded with. Fuck! Ask him what the fuck happened. Yeah, you got one more in you, Jester. Okay. What the fuck happened? <laughs> Was it the dragon turtle? Was it Vo? Kondo? <laughs> Does he remember where he parked it? Did Maybe he just forgot. Did it sail away without you? Yeah. Oh my god. Hardly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> we set up camp like you requested, but, uh, nope. It was the dragon turtle. <laughs> oh, <no>. Heard a <laughs> terrifying crunch sound and watched her sink. <laughs> okay. How's it going? Sure. You want me to send a message? Can you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll send a message to Orly. Hey, Orly. Did you find the ships? Did you figure out how to get it out? Are you guys still alive? Is Mary is dead? Is Mary is dead? Uh, okay, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> there was an uh in there that was a half committal. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, Orly res responds really quickly. You bet we found them. <laughs> mm. Mary's still alive, still pointless. Poorly <laughs> <laughs> oh, with the shade. Uh, <laughs> so pithy. Ships, though, ain't too um, confident yet about exiting. That's where it ends. Caduceus and I will work together for our few of the smaller ones. Okay. Eden's Horizon. Okay. We'll say over the better part of the afternoon, you were able to, with Orly and the rest of your crew, I got six. get the remainder of the ships that still stand, um, leaving the burned wreckage of the few in the cavern, hmm. um, and bring them out past the lagoon into the water shortly offshore on the eastern side of Rumble Cusp to drop anchor for those of the island that wish to keep or take them home. But Eden's Horizon is freed from its cavern prison as Orly and the crew gather up on the deck. And with supplies from the village of Vaux, enough to get themselves back to the Menagerie Coast, Orly looks back over the rest of you, smiles, his kind of cracked, dried, total grin. Looking forward to seeing Larium back. Captain. She's a lot of ship. You sure you're up for this? <laughs> I know how to handle a fine woman. <laughs> and he pats the side. What about it? I ship. do not doubt it. Tattoo before Orly leaves. Oh, right, because you don't have one. No. Right, okay. Oh, shit. So, before you left for Nicodronus, <laughs> yes. um, stopping Orly for a brief bit, he. Uh, Excitedly comes to you as you approach and is like, mm, How can I help you? Um, I was wondering if I could get a, a tattoo, um, maybe something that you know would, would start here and then sort of make its way down my arm. Mm hmm, that can definitely be done. Okay. What sort of hmm. 
Mm, Mitch, are you thinking? I'm thinking, um, I'm thinking like a runes. Um, I'm thinking I would like to spell out in runes, um, Orphan Maker. Ooh. Mm, very well. Now, what, um, what mm, material are you looking to imbue? Um, maybe like a emerald? Oh, well, if you got the dust, you gonna let me know. Any of you guys have yeah, enough yeah. emeralds for this? What is emerald? 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 What is emerald? Because do? I think emerald, emerald is, is um. Emerald is the bonus to dexterity. Yes. Okay. Hold on. Let me look. Let me look. That's you're an odd. Oh, we got a big emerald. <clears throat> oh, we got that big emerald. We got that from, big emerald. From, from okay. Is that? Yeah. We also okay. have. Here we go. Uh, we yeah. got a bag of gems worth a lot of money that I can dig out a bunch of emeralds from. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you know how much? Did I tell you how much the, the larger emerald was? The worth? large emerald you said was worth two hundred and fifty gold. Mm -hmm. And then the bag of gems, I think the total worth now is around 2,000. Mm -hmm. How much emerald does she? How much do you? Uh, 2,200 gold worth. Oh, of pure emerald. Oh boy. I bet we have some more. Let me look. Can the wizard do some sort of transmute thingy? Can you turn some of the gems into emeralds? Into em like yeah, the whole bag emerald of gems? Rich. Wait, I've got some. Um, Residuum, does that help? Residuum would, could take the place of some of that, yeah. Okay, okay. Well, how much, um, how much emerald dust would you say we can make from our bag of gems and the big emerald? I'll say, I'll say with the bag, I... <laughs> like 1,500? Mm, I'll say a little over half, so like 1,200 from the bag, and then you have the other ruby, so 1,450. Okay. Between the two of those, so you're... Need about seven fifty. I have seven hundred gold of residuum. Shit. <sighs> so we're only fifty gold hundred. Away? Is that including? No, we're only fifty we gold away. Fifty oh. gold away from the amount. Does anyone have an emerald? I I have some residuum you gave me. Oh, you never oh, used yeah, it. Oh yeah, we didn't use our residuum. Resid I gave you a hundred, I think. Yeah, you did. The other Using stuff. all of this for my tattoo. Yeah, yeah so come on. Dude, this shit is worth it. it. We are all it's going to the parlor with right. you. Yes. Hell yeah. Is it, is okay. it about just? I love you. Is it a bad idea to give away this residuum? Like, if we need it for like uh, re reviving someone or something? That's what diamonds are for, right? Sure. Well, sure. Yeah. But you know, if we run out of diamonds. Then you have the. We'll have to buy some more diamonds. We'll have point. to buy. We'll buy some stuff in Nicotranas. Yeah. Hey, it's fine. Yeah. 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 Get and a tattoo. A yeah, but isn't residuum very hard to come by? I don't know. We just found it in a bag. I'm sure you could just pull it out of the <laughs> earth somewhere. Yeah. It's a mineral like anything else. I'm I'm into this. We person. have no idea. Does anybody sure. else want to get a tattoo? Or maybe I wrote it down wrong. Maybe the thing I wrote was twenty five hundred no. gold. This is a party yeah. fund. <laughs> what do you think, Matt? Do you think maybe I wrote he it down wrong? It was a pretty big emerald we found, wasn't it? I mean, it was like legendary. What's up, Vex? This emerald. <laughs> I'm just trying to make this tattoo happen for our. our I band. understand. Well, it seems like you guys have the means to do it. We got this. Be cool. <laughs> can we can we trade Orly some drugs, like a really cool tattoo part? <laughs> <laughs> I do have a lot of suit. What color is? But it's about the materials. It's green. Green. Yeah. Let's not green? let him sail yeah. our oh. new ship. So all you'll have like up. eight <laughs> shades of green oh, in there. That's so this awesome. That's gonna be cool. Cannons. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, let's do it. You all ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Sit on down. Okay. Okay. Do you need any whiskey to numb the pain? No. Let's just. Girl. Straight. And he gets out his uh, tattooing device and begins yeah. to take the, uh, the gems and grind them into the proper dust and prepare himself with the inks and the materials that were given by you and your friends. And slowly, in this final bit of time that you have here on Rumble Cusp, as you guys are putting your fares in order, he begins to complete this tattoo all along the side, down your neck, and across the shoulder to as far down the arm as you'd like in whatever type of design you would like. So you kind of guide him as he goes and kind of give what the inspiration is for the different 
shapes around the runes of Orphan Maker, if there's anything specific uh, to that you'd like to embellish on, he imparts it within your skin. I think um, maybe some some vines with some flowers, kind of weaving weaving mm-hmm. through the uh, the runes and sort of all the way down Whoa. to the to the tip of the finger. The head, yeah, I like it. Okay, yeah. all right. That's dope. That's, That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, easily enough done. Uh, it takes a number of hours, but he does so, and it, it's a painful experience for any person who isn't as used to embracing pain as you are. Stoically, you just take it without a change in expression. Um, and as it comes to a completion, you know, the kind of spiking numb pain down the body from the just the, the needle tickle across the skin, you kind of look over the art and... It's been a long time since you've allowed yourself to be a canvas for beauty. And it feels nice. That's... This is beautiful, Orly. Well, I don't mean to brag, but, um... I had a lot of time to myself on the shore, just waiting. So, uh, I like to sketch. Quite like it. Well, one of my finest work. Thank you. The least I can do for my crew. Anyway, best we start getting uh, our folks together and make our way back. <clears throat> so that is a permanent plus one to your dexterity. Yeah! All right. I can I can stay and get the ship ready if you need. Oh god, do we have do we have crew here with the boat? Oh, Orly, yeah, should still Orly and everything? Yeah? Yeah. And I think Yeah, well I'll write him up a, a letter to take to the to port to send to Orly with an introduction. Uh, I think I'll send a message to Orly. Mm-hmm. Orly! It's me. There's a purple guy coming to join the crew. His name is Kingsley the Cutthroat. <laughs> Make him feel at home. And we're also going to join you. (laughs) 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 Mm, I was sleeping. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, yeah, it's like 3 a.m. Oh, yeah, it's shit. But I can't deny the joy of. Hearing your voice, oh. just, uh, mm, I'll be keeping an eye out. I love Orly. Oh, he's the best. Okay. 